Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and another tutorial. Today we're going to be working on some ruffled socks. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. I'm going to start off with a magic circle. When you've made your magic circle, go ahead and chain one and turn your work. Now I'm going to put eight half double crochets into this circle. Half double crochets. I'm going to go ahead and pull my yarn together. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now we're not going to slip stitch. Make sure that you have your stitch marker handy. And now you're going to go right into that first stitch with two half double crochets. So that chain one you made does not count, of course. So go into your first stitch with two half double crochets. When you make that first half double crochet, go ahead and put in your stitch marker. So we'll know what our first half double crochet is. And in that same stitch, put another half double crochet. And then two half double crochets going around. So I'm back. We're now going into row three. Go ahead and remove your stitch marker. Now we're going to change up our increases because I only want to increase but so far. So in your first stitch you're going to make two half double crochets. I wear a size eight and a half. If you need to make more, if you need to increase more, you can do that. So that's two in that first one and then one in the next ten. Two and ten. So once you have your 10 double crochets, your 10 half double crochets, go into the next stitch with two half double crochets. And just keep going until you get to the end, until you get back to your stitch marker. Okay, so I'm at the end of row two. I'm going to remove my stitch marker and we're going to increase some more. Go into your first stitch with two half double crochets. And then in your next 10, you're going to make one half double crochet. So one half double crochet going around for 10. Remember when you make your two double crochets in the beginning, go ahead and put your stitch marker back in there. And continue around. I'm, I'll come back when I have my 10 half double crochets. Okay. I made my 10th stitch here. In the next one, I'm going to make two half double crochets. Now it's going to start to fold in on you, which is what you want it to do. You want it to fold in. So then make the rest of your half double crochets. It's not going to be 10 exactly. Okay. Now at the end of your row, go ahead and take out your stitch marker. And go back into that first stitch with two half double crochets. We're going to increase one more time. So after you make those two half double crochets, put your stitch marker back into that first one. And continue on. Make one half double crochet in the next 10, just like you did in the previous row. Okay, so I finished my row four and I have 20 half double crochets going around. I need to increase one more time. So remove that stitch marker, go into the first stitch with two half double crochets, and then one half double crochet into each stitch. Remember to put your stitch marker back into that first half double crochet so you don't lose your place. Okay, so I'm at the end of row five. I've already taken out my stitch marker. I'm going to increase one more time. Go into this first stitch with two half double crochets. So far we have 22 half double crochets going around. I have my 24 half double crochets going around. As I said, if this is too small, you can increase again until you get it the size that you want. But I'm going to stop here. And now we're going to continue on. So now all we're going to do is make some rows of half double crochets. You're going to do that for three rows. 
Okay, so I'm at the end of the row and I have my 10 rows of half double crochets. So now let's go into making our design. Again, it's just a weave stitch or isn't anything complicated. Go ahead and put one half double crochet into the first two stitches. Make sure you're putting your stitch marker back in there. Now chain one, skip one, go into the next stitch with a half double crochet. Chain one, skip one. Go on to the next stitch with a half double crochet. So we're going to do that five times. We're going to have five boxes. Okay, so I have my five boxes here. I hope you can see that. One, two, three, four, five. Now just go into the rest of your double crochets, uh, uh, the rest of your stitches with your half double crochet. So I'm at the end of the row and I have my five boxes here in the front. Don't worry, it'll be more detailed as you go. So let me make this last half double crochet here. I'm going to remove my stitch marker and then just make a row of half double crochets. So go into your first stitch and then your next stitch. Now remember because we made a double crochet and then chain one and skip one, we have to put a stitch in this middle here to replace that double crochet that we skipped in the previous row. So go into your next stitch, right into that weave stitch and make a half double crochet. And then right into the next stitch, right next to it, which is another half double crochet. So when you do this, you should have 24 half double crochets coming back around back at the beginning of the row. Now we're going to make another row of our weave stitch. So go in again and make your half double crochets and then chain one, skip one just like we did before and go on to the next one. We're going to make another five. Back at the end of the row again, remove your stitch marker and now we're just going to make one half double crochet going around again. Here's my two. Put your stitch marker back into that first stitch. I'm using a stitch marker because I don't like that line. When you make your slip stitch, it makes a line and it starts to go diagonally. I don't like that. So that is why I use a stitch marker. If you want a slip stitch, you can do that. Uh, so now I'm going to go and remember like we did before, go right into the middle of the stitch and then right into that next double crochet, right next to it, half double crochet, right next to it. And then just keep doing that. Okay, so when you finish with those rows, when you finish with that second row of weave stitch, you're just gonna keep going around and around. Now you want your sock to fit up to, right up to your heel where your heel begins. So uh, I'm going to keep making my double crochets here and I'm sorry half double crochets up until I reach the um, beginning of my heel. Okay so I have 17 rows of my half double crochets. That includes that first row there and this reaches right up to my heel. So this is where your sock should come up to. This is the bottom portion of your sock. As you can see, it stopped right at the top of my foot here and is going around. And this is what the top looks like. You see your weave stitch pattern here. And then again on the top, this is where you should be stopping at, right at the top of your foot, right before that heel. Okay, so now we're going to start working the back panel for the heel of your shoe, of your sock. So go ahead and chain one and turn your work. Now you're going to make some half double crochets, but you're only going to make 12. So when you get to your 12th stitch, your 12th half double crochet, chain one, turn your work, and you're going to go back and forth. Okay, so when you make your rows, this is how far back
or how far up you should come with your rolls. It should go to the back of your tendon back here, reach right back here. Okay, so my back panel here is 10 rolls of half double crochet. Now you might have less or more depending on how thick your yarn is. So if your yarn is thicker, you might have less rolls. So you want to experiment with that as you go along. Try on your sock, make sure that it's fitting your foot properly and coming up along the back of your heel. So once you've made your final row, go ahead and remove your hook and you're going to fold your work backwards like this. Oops, I'm in the camera. You're going to fold your work to the back like this. So this is the back of your sock. That's the front of your sock. You're going to take that back panel and fold it backwards. Go ahead and grab your hook. And now we're just going to slip stitch all the way across. So you should have six on each side because you made 12 half double crochets. Well, it also depends on how big you've made your sock. But go into that first stitch and then make a slip stitch. And when we get to that sixth stitch, you're going to go right in the back back there and make your slip stitch. And chain one. So instead of having to bind off, we're just going to go back up through those stitches again. So there's our first one. We're just going to slip stitch right back across. Chain one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you can remove your hook and go ahead and turn your work the right way around. The right way around. And now you want to try on your sock. It should fit snugly back here up against your heel. This portion here should fit snugly up against your heel. If it does not, then you might want to take out a couple of rows and go ahead and try it on again. You know, um, bringing those ends together again and try it on again. Okay, so I actually had to take out a few rows. I had to take out those rows in the back. And now I have eight rows and it fits perfectly. It's not too loose and not too tight. Okay, so now that I'm at the end of the row, I'm going to go ahead and chain one. And now you're just going to make a half double crochet into each half double crochet row. So this is your turning chain row. You want to skip that and go right into the next stitch with a half double crochet. And we're going to do that all the way across. When you get to the front of your sock, you're going to go ahead and make your half double crochets all the way around and then again into each row on the side and I'll meet you back at the beginning end of the row now and I have 32 chains which obviously is an increase but it's not a big deal we can always decrease those stitches so in your first stitch which is right here you're gonna go ahead and make a decrease so yarn over go into your first stitch and pull through two, yarn over and go into the next stitch, pull through two, and then pull through all three. And that is your decrease. So now you're going to go around with your half double crochets. And as I said earlier, this is trial and error um, because everyone's foot is a different size. Some people have wider feet than others. So you want to keep trying it on as you go along. Okay, so I'm back at the beginning of my row. I'm at the end of the row. And I went ahead and tried it on. I went ahead and tried it on. And it's still a little too big. So I am going to decrease again. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to take out two of them. Take out one. And now we're going to decrease that last stitch and that first stitch together. We're going to bring those together. So go ahead and yarn over, pull through two, go into the next stitch, pull through two, and then pull through three. And now continue with your half double crochets going around. Again, you're only doing this because you want to make sure that the back portion, the heel part is nice and snug up against your the back of your heel. So keep going with these half double crochets and I will meet you back at the beginning. 
Okay, so this is what you should have so far. I did decrease for a few more rows, but I didn't need to do that on camera. Once you've gotten it to the point where it's snug up against the back of your foot and you're satisfied with what you have, you're just going to make some half double crochets going all the way around. Okay, so I have as many rows as I would like. Again, you can go up as far as you want to. That is completely up to you, but this is what you should have so far. There is the heel, this is the front part of the foot, the foot, and this is the ankle, the ankle, the ankle area. So now we're going to go into making some ruffles. So once you've made your last half double crochet, we're going to make our ruffles with double crochets. So go ahead and yarn over and put six double crochets into your first stitch. Three, four. Five and six. You're going to skip two, go into the next one with another six double crochets. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row. Now just go ahead and slip stitch into the first double crochet from the previous row in that six cluster and chain one. Now we're going to continue on go into that stitch that you skipped from the previous row there's two there you're going to go into it like a like you, like you're making a front post double crochet so go into that stitch and make your six double crochets three four five and six and just do that all the way across okay so i'm at the end of the row i've made my last ruffle here so now i'm going to go right over into this next stitch here and slip stitch sorry chain one okay so now if you're satisfied with that, you can go ahead and continue. Or if you want to make another row of ruffles, you can do that. So when I come back, I'm going to go ahead and show you what those socks look like. The ruffled socks, what they look like. I'll be back. 